All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do these other ones here while I'm at it. I don't like stuff being uneven, so. We're gonna go ahead and do these. Making it square. It's as square as I can make it anyway. Where am I hitting at? On something, I can't go straight through without hitting out though. What the hell? I'm going top to bottom without hitting anything. How can that be? Be hitting on something somewhere. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. Hitting on something, I don't know what. Any sense at all? You to get top to bottom without hitting on anything. Could be a burr. Yep, there's a burr down there hitting on something. All right, well that one's good. It's square. That was trying to confuse me. That didn't make any sense at all, but oh well. Okay, this one. Guess I need to deburr these things a little bit before I stuck them in here. Now it's screwing with me.
It's pissing me off. Damn burrs down here fighting me. It's keeping me from getting square. Alright, I gotta quit screwing with that thing. It's close enough. That was a pain in the ass doing it because I didn't deburr it. That's all my fault for not doing that. See, the problem is when you got a burr right here along the edge and you're straight edge just hitting on that little burr, it screws up your, in your feeler gauge in here. So all I could do is get it with had an equal gap all the way around. I'm well, pretty damn close, but it's not, not ideal. Oh well. Now, the problem with this is I want to make sure I don't teeter-totter these things over. I'm not sure my height difference here. So we're going to go ahead and just go until we cut something. And then I'll probably go cutting, I'll probably go cutting this direction instead of this way until I get close. Because I don't want to knock these things over. These things are so tall, there's a lot of leverage on these things. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this on and see what we got. Okay, we're centered. I'll use this one off. Draw this thing out. Fifteen down. There it goes. Thirty three thou. There we go. Plants are pretty close to each other, but it is going to add some extra holding down. You want to make that twisting force that's going to make them twist on you and come unglued. That's what you don't want it to do. Get 
it tight now. Okay, so these are probably a couple inches apart. That really adds a lot of holding strength. A lot harder, see. Okay, so I got 40 thousands. I got to cut this other one now. Back this thing up. Sevens with four, but I'll yeah, we'll try that. We're pretty stout here, I think.
like it did. Get a couple more right there. Final pass. And none of this is necessary. Just strictly cosmetic. Actually, this is something to measure from. There's always an excuse why I need to do it. I gotta put my center holes in one here someplace. Gotta have a good reference point to come from, right? That's a good excuse to do it. We got some witness marks in there. The cut is definitely getting dull. Might be over abusing it. See how rough it is. It's rough. All right, I've got to sharpen that bit a little bit. It might have been overworked slightly. I don't know how that could have possibly have happened. Now, which one's hitting? We don't know. Let me take it out and look at it. That one looks like it's pretty hot. Oh, that one's definitely hitting there. See the big flat spot across it right there? Definitely hitting on that one. This one here, I don't think so. Don't see that one hitting. That one looks good. Nope. Yeah. Looks like only the one there is really hitting out of all of them. So when you hand grind bits, only one hits out of all of them. All right, I'm going to resharpen these. I'll be back. All right, I just did this here and they're not square. So I'm in about 50 thou error between the gap here and the gap down here. They're, they're in slightly like this. So I'm going to take a solid piece of parallel. Big tool bit, 5 A's. I'm going to put that in between the two, clamp them together, and that'll square them up. Then I can cut them and flip them and do a little shit. So, if one way don't work, try something different. There's too much air involved in a little shivering in here, so try to eliminate the air. So, if you put that right down there and pull these together, Give what we need. I can still slide like this, so you got to try to keep it square. Okay, what I need is a clamp to go in here, which I do not have right in front of me. This I do right here. Here it'll work. No, 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 this is not big enough. Need a lot bigger one than this. This is not going to fly. What do we got laying around? I got this big boy one right here I can use, I guess. I'm 
No. Oh, that didn't make it. Okay, this should. Okay, so you put that together like that. Then you go ahead and beat these down with a steel hammer or a lead hammer. And that should square everything up. Digital level, get that on there and see if it's 90. See how close we are anyway. 89, 3. 89.5. Arrow going that way. Pretty close. Get something that repeats. Eighty nine four. Eighty nine four. And they're both the same number, that's a good sign. Okay, I think everything's pretty square now. Get the same number of level here as everything else. So, we're going to tighten this down here. Crunch on that. Tight. I'll leave this clamp on there too. Fuck it. Oh, yeah, everything's clamped rigid. And with any luck, this time everything is square. This level wasn't working too good for me. So it might be wrong. Geez, it ain't even close. Everything's leaned over way far this way according to this. So there's no way that's accurate at all. Ah, uh, jeez, I'm running out of ways of doing stuff wrong. Why is nothing working today? So I'll take it going by what I'm doing with the level. When I reverse it, everything is wrong. 89.4. So what I should do is bend it like this. Get to be 90. All right. find something I'm going to like. So far I haven't found it yet. I haven't given up yet.
because what we've been doing is not working. Still nine. Really hitting one down there. I'm really hitting on something. Four. Come on. Come on. Yep, ninety. Go back this way slightly, clean this. Two sides don't agree with each other very much. 897. Flash ninety one three nine nine. Not very flat over here. We'll use this side so we're even. Across the board. All right, we'll go with that one. She's not working out very quickly. Ah! Even. Okay, what do we got now? Eighty-nine, nine. Eighty-nine, nine. Two ways it off. Two 
It wants to go this way. This one wants to go that way. About equal. <laughs> Neither one of them is happy. That's pretty close though. Alright, we're going to cut it with that. Let's see what this thing feels like now. Yeah, this isn't very happy. Maybe it's not square, who knows. I didn't check it with anything, so I don't know. Alright, we're going to go with this. One plus is it cuts really, really good since I sharpened it. Very even. about a tenth hour pass. What happens? I got caught in pretty good, so I'm not worrying about it moving. Only the cutter lives. how smooth that finish is even though I'm cutting heavy. Nice sharp cutting.
Jen. This. I'm just going to undo it down here and flip it. Oh shit, I have to because I got this one. On. Damn it. Yeah, maybe not. Alright, there's that. Turn that off. I'm going to zero this thing so I know where I'm at. Back it off 100 thou. Okay, I'm going to try to flip this over without moving stuff too far. Let's see how that goes.
up your moving metal anyway. Screw it. Okay, so this surface here is going to come off of that. Nice and flat. Good and flat. Water bodies and air nozzle clean your mill. Not good. Oh well. Nice and smooth. Okay, so how many is going to get in here? Should be able to get the bottom one in here without having too many problems. Boom. Oh, yeah, that fits right in there. See how far off we were this time. Not the same direction. That way it feels like. Alright, let's see where it levels at. <clears throat> I like that. It's not flat on the bottom though for some reason. I'm not sure why. Getting on the back side on that one. They're both, they're all about the same. Okay, so. I need to get rid of this now. This has to go up a little bit. All right. I think it's 
pretty square now. Fighting a little bit, but I think we're good. Mark this so I can see where it's not contacting because this is all machine surfaces now. Red has to disappear to be good. Take much to bring those two sides in. And you got 12 inches between or 13 inches, whatever that thing is. If you have just a little bit of air down here, a few thou, it really leans a lot on the top. Cause a big air. That's what I was getting. I wasn't getting very many thousands of air, but it sure added up and got 12 inches away. So using my digital level helps a lot and blow them together definitely makes them equal or parallel, whatever the air is that's equal. And the cutter's getting a little dull there, it looks like. Time for resharpen job after this. Alright, yeah, wasting a good night of work. Oh yeah, it's almost one now. Yeah, the dark one. The only problem is I'm in the mood to do these, redo these right now. Don't be surprised if I redo them. I won't videotape it though. I might even recut this surface if I don't like it enough here. Yeah, it's smooth enough. I've definitely got a big drag in there though, but... I'll be sure up in it. Finish is still good though. You can hear it over there. Clunk, 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 away. There we go. Perfect. Even though it's getting dull, it's still a mirror finish too. Look at that. <laughs> you can still see it. It's really sharp. All right. 
I think I'm happy with these. The moment of truth will be when I undo this and see how they sit flat to each other. So let me uh, divert here and then we'll check it real quick and see how it looks. Okay, now let's see what we got over here. So if these are nice and straight, they should match up real good. Okay, now this is the surface that we went to. It's the opposite whatever this line was. So these are the two lines that we should be perfect. And even with all that, you can still see the air right there, see? Turn them 180. A little bit closer. Different side. Yep. Doesn't matter how much you do this, the ears are still there. These are too far apart down at the bottom. Touching on the top. Oh well. Yeah, that one's pretty good there. So this is my mark at. So this is our equal side. So the end result is we're still off by quite a bit. No matter how good I try to do it, still fail. A lot of that's probably because these surfaces here are not flat. I still don't meld them, but oh well, they're straight enough for what I'm going to use them for. They actually line up pretty close when you do this. Oh well. I want them perfect. They're not. I have to live with it. Oh well. So how bad are these ones over here? 
Do I get pissed off and redo them? Or do we live with them? So this one had an X on it. Where's the X at? There's the X. X. So these two here go like this. Yeah, it's about half the air, but it's still air. I guess I can live with it. Yeah. All right. I'll buckle under for being not perfect, I guess. Damn, I don't like to be not perfect. I hate not being not perfect. Especially with an air of 30 thou, I don't like that at all. Yeah, a couple thou I can live with, but damn, 30 thou, I don't like that at all. Okay, well, I'm not do it tonight, but tomorrow, sometime, when I get time, in my spare time, when I'm not doing anything important. We're gonna make it. We're gonna drill some holes through here. We got to figure out our dimension between our holes. I think it was about four and three eighths inches last time we figured it. But anyway, basically it's two times this plate plus one of these is how much gap we need in this area right here. <coughs> so that'll be the center line dimension. So that when you push on this here, it'll bend around it and it'll be fine. And then we got the, I'm going to use this bar over here, which I have to go cut nice and cleanly, which I have not done yet. And I'm just going to go right in between here and go push straight down. Obviously I have to cut it to the right width. I think I can figure out how to do that. So anyway, I'm trying to remember how I calculated the dimension before. I have to use this dimension here. What is it? This? It's one of these. Okay, you have to add in one of these because you got 50 50. That makes one full one. You have to add two of these and one of these and five or ten thou extra clearance. And that's your center line that you put the two holes through that holds the axle because the axles over here are going to go through this like this. And this will allow this to pivot, but it'll be held flat. And I don't even have to weld any of this stuff together or anything, just it just lays together and it'll be fine. You have to put no nuts on, you have to do anything because all the force is going down, not going sideways or anything else. The pressure is going to be spreading this way and going down. So that's what makes it real nice. And it's called a press brake because we're going to use a press to press down on it. So that's how we're going to do it. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So we'll calculate all these dimensions out tomorrow and figure it out and put some holes in there. But, uh, anyway, I got a big chunk of it done tonight, even though my one hour to two hour job is already in about five already. We haven't got going yet. All right, that's it for tonight. We are going to get back to this tomorrow.